guys. Um, today we're going to make a tteokbokki with this rice cake. Tteokbokki is one of the a street food that you can go in in a restaurant called Bunshikjam. Um, it was a very popular thing to do when you were in like elementary school or middle school. Uh, you go with your friends and you gather some of the coins together and then eat tteokbokki or tteokbokki or tigim or odeng. We kind of went over that last time. Tteokbokki uh, is a um, rice cake skewer. You would put few rice cakes together in a skewer um, and then you coat that with a delicious, a sweet, but a little bit of tangy. I should say a little bit of, a little bit spicy, but not too hot. A sauce and a savory flavor. We put this in it here. I'll show you how to make it. Before we get started, the most important step that you have to do is to make this rice cake soft. Like me, if you bought this rice cake at the market, it is very hard. So first important thing, make it soft. We're gonna open this up. I'm gonna open it from the bottom. What we're going to do is uh, pour some water in here, make it soft and boil it as well. If you see it, it kind of breaks apart if it's hard. When you put the skewer in, it's gonna break it like this. What else? We wanna make it. <laughs> so we're gonna put this in, a, in the running water for a second. You're gonna drop it in there. You're gonna rinse it just a little bit. We're gonna boil it just a little bit to make it a little bit soft. Once the water is a little bit hot, I'm gonna put the rice cakes in here. We're gonna blanch it for a few minutes, maybe one minute. So we're gonna check it again once the rice cake is soft. Uh, we'll come back to this later. I'm gonna check it, not with my fingers, not with my fingers. I'm gonna do it with a fork. It's pretty soft, so I'm gonna take this out. Turn off the heat, carefully pour it out. Rice cake stuck in the pan. Okay, that's good. Put it aside. Since we have to work with this, I'm gonna put it under some water just to cool it down for a bit. Now the next step is to make sauce. The ingredients are gochujang, ketchup, soy sauce, and some corn syrup. Of course, a little bit of sugar, garlic, gochujang. <laughs> We're gonna peel this. Uh oh. We're gonna put four tablespoons. <laughs> We're gonna do two table tablespoon of gochujang, two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of ketchup, our corn syrup, two tablespoons. We're gonna mix these together. A same sauce as yangnyam chicken, the seasoned fried chicken. Uh, for children, uh, I would recommend if you put more ketchup and sweeteners. Take the rice cakes out, skewers, through the middle. I would recommend to put, I would say, five to seven rice cakes on the one skewer. When you go to the bunshikjam, it has like a big deep fryer that you pour, put these skewers inside. It fries really well, but we're gonna do it in the pan, like a home style. Carefully place your rice skewers, rice cake skewers. You might ask how long you should fry this. I would say however you want to, but preferably when it's kind of yellowish. I'll show you when, maybe like two minutes. Maybe. Mm. Now we're gonna make a different variation of tteokbokki with sausage. We're gonna make sotak sotak. I'm gonna put the rice cake first and then the sausage, then the rice cake and then the sausage and close it up with the rice cake again. I'm gonna make another one. Rice cake, sausage, rice cake, sausage, and then the rice cake. Let's check if it's yellowish. Ooh, yes. This is what we're looking for. Oh, it'd be better if it's more yellow, but this will do. Do you hear the sound? 
Oh, yum. Haku! Push him, push him. Haku! We have enough oil. Gently place it in. Oh, oh my! What's again? Wow! Yum! Yeah! When you fry it, keeps the oil inside. <sighs> Smells good. Let's check how this is going. I think. Ah, it's over. Oh. Once it's heated up, we're going to heat up the sauce so that we can dissolve some sugar as well as some garlic to give us a flavor, more um, savory flavor. Gently stir the sauce so they won't burn. Mmm, smells so good. Wow, garlic, the sugar, the ketchup, a little bit tangy. Boy, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Once the sauce is like um, a little bit bubbly like that, this is the time to stop the stove. We're gonna transfer this sauce back into the plate. Now, this is the most important part. We're gonna coat these tokochi with sauce. There's two ways we're gonna make this. One is the wobi sauce that we prepared. We're gonna coat that. Or another way that you can make for kids is with sugar. I'm gonna pour the sugar out. This is the one without the spicy sauce that we just made. Take the rice cake skewer and then you're gonna coat that. You're gonna coat it with sugar on both sides. Now the another way for, oh no, 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 no. We're gonna coat the takochi with sauce. It's ideal if you have a brush. Someone like me who doesn't have a brush in their kitchen, I'm gonna use a spoon. Mix it just a little bit. Drizzle. Wow. Don't mind my no? Now, the sotak sotak. <laughs> it would have been easier if we had a brush, but I'm gonna try the original tokochi. <laughs> a confession to make. <laughs> I think we might have put too much gochujang. <laughs> I would have um, put less gochujang and a little bit more of corn syrup and sugar. But it's delicious. Sour, nope, tangy. <laughs> tangy and savory. Oh, I should have tried the, this one first. Because I coated with all the sauce in my tongue. Mm. Now, sotak sotak. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. It's it tastes like I don't know. <laughs> but it's it's very sweet. Uh, it goes really well with the rice cake. I think kids will love it. If you have extra sugar, just dip it in like this. Mmm. Mmm. Yum, crispy. Mmm, very delicious. Today we went through a different type of variation of takuchi, a delicious gochujang base sauce, and one with sausage, sotak, and lastly the children version of non-spicy, the coated with the sugar. I recommend less gochujang, a little bit more corn syrup and sugar. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you see this rice cake at a Korean market, I would recommend you to fry it like this. Thank you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.